Okay, so going to this, um, where are we? Here we are. This link that I'm going to post in the uh, Moodle forum here for the Office Online app. If you click on that in Chrome, I use Firefox, so I have to switch over to Chrome. It'll take you to this page, and then you just want to click Add to Chrome. And when the pop-up comes up, say Add Extension, it will add the extension. And then it will take you to this page, which tells you that you've installed it. And then it says that you can see the extension in the top right of the browser, which as you can see is right up here. And then it gives you some instructions for how to use it and how to log on, but I don't ever read instructions. So click on this and it's going to give you the option to sign in with a Microsoft account or sign in with a work or school account. Now, having not done this yet, I'm going to assume that we're going to sign in with a work or school account. Since that's what we want to do, and we're going to sign in with our um, school ID. Obviously, you'll use yours. This might actually require the full address, so... Um, you don't have to put the CCV in there, just put your, your user ID and then at vsc.edu. The CCV part is not necessarily, I haven't used it, it's not necessary. And then it's going to give you the option to create your school account or your personal account if you happen to accidentally have created a personal account using your school address, which I did when I first started things and I haven't fixed it yet. Just click your work or school account. This should work. if. You've gotten, if you've gotten an error in this point, let me know, but it should actually work. Now, I obviously have some form fill here. You'll have to sign in using your username and password, and it's going to ask you if you want to stay signed in. I would recommend clicking yes, since you have problems with this. Just might as well do that. I don't want to, because I'm not actually going to use this. Um, and now it gives us instructions on how to use this online. took us back to the same page, so let's see. Here we go. We're in now, apparently. Let's see if we can go to PowerPoint. It says it can't get a list of my recent documents right now. Um, you might want to click that upload and open. That's going to take your local documents and put it up there. I'm not going to choose to do that because I don't like using cloud stuff. But let's just see if we can open PowerPoint. And it's working for me, so hopefully this works for you, and if it doesn't, um, I'm going to post in here in the forum. I'll be happy to look at your computer and try to figure things out for you if you want to bring it to me in Springfield. No charge, just helping out a pal.